Right. That, that's blasphemy, man. Right. Hey, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Can somebody give me that sign right, right there? there? Appreciate it, officer. Give me that, give me that sign right there, man. Because we keep speaking on the curses. One thing that happened in slavery was we were taken captives. Right. This did not just happen because they said, you know what, we're going to go get some blacks and we're going to take them over here to this land. We got a lot of land over here. No. The Most High God put this in our enemy's mind to take us and put us into chains, to take us and bring us into captivity. Right. For not following, the law, right? For not following God's law. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Here but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That's what you said earlier. Why is this happening? Because we're going to read it. Because we are not hearkening unto, the, unto these words. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Some of them. To do all his commandments. To do all God's commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and all overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. All of these curses that's written in Deuteronomy chapter 28, Leviticus chapter 26, is going to come upon thee and overtake thee. They're going to consume you in your sin. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. Like, like, this. like this here right now. So all of these curses that are placed upon you, curse shall thou be in the city. Right. Why is that? Give me um give me give me the byword. Give me uh what is that? 37. 37. Give me that. Let's get a curse while we're gonna be cursed in the city. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Get out. Get out. I'm gonna pick it back. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. So when we walk around in the streets of the community, we are an astonishment. Like, damn, there go another black man. Babe, babe, put put hold that right there. Put that back. Hold on. They go a nigga. They go a black man. We are an astonishment. Like, damn, they go them niggas again, bro. We moved out here to get away from, from them. That's an astonishment. Read. A proverb. A proverb, a wise saying. So, as a curse placed upon us, a proverb is you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. Right. right. right? Um, you got, um, you have, not only that, you have blacks love watermelon, love to eat chicken. Um, there are many proverbs placed upon our people, right? Lazy, don't like to work, can't get a job. Was it last hire, first fire? That's right. What's your right. Name? Hold on, real quick. Hold on, real quick. Let me let me finish this off. Read. And a byword. And a byword, right? A byword is another name given to replace your original name, right? So originally we were called Abraham, Isaac, uh, Shemaiah, Jadiel, Kedon. These were our original names. But now you're going to be called a byword. A byword, nigga. African American, Jamaican, Haitian. We're going to be calling ourselves other what otherwise what God originally called us. A byword, read. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead us. So wherever we dwell upon the earth, we're going to be that astonishment. We're going to be that byword. That's cursed in the city. That's cursed in the city right there. Give me um, 41. Verse 41. Thy. Oh, I'm sorry. What are we going to. I'm sorry. That could you. What are we going to say? What I learned. What I learned. I see both brothers, you know. I see both brothers. They, I, I don't know if it's God. I think it's God. All the brothers, when I, I learned and I studied, all the brothers, they don't start wearing blue beer and dreadlock. I feel like it's dreadlock. It's great. What I'm trying to see, I see all the brothers, they don't start wearing blue beer. Right. I ain't even talking about y'all. Uh -huh. I'm talking about a lot of football, you know, football, you know, you walk to the studio, they're not going to start wearing blue beer and dreadlock. Like Give me uh, Joshua 1 and 8. Everybody gonna, they're probably going to recognize that y'all see it. Right. But I think it's God's going to be the same. That, that's, that's also a Christian saying, where you're going to Samson, right? Where he right, had his right, hair, right. he cut it, he strength, thought that was strength. his strength. Right. That's not his strength. The laws of God is our strength. That's right. 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 That's why you see our state that we are in today, because right. we have lost our strength. We right. start keeping the laws of God. Right. That's right. Our, that is our true 
strength. Okay. Joshua 1 and 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Bring it out. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So this book of the law, the Bible originally is named, it's called the book of the law. When the prophet spoke of this right here, they, they called it the book of the law, right? So Joshua is saying this book of the law, read, shall not depart out of thy mouth. It shall not depart out of thy mouth. Meaning when, when, when the words that come out of your mouth, what you speak, it should be of righteousness. It should not be of wickedness. Evil right. communication, corrupt speak, it should right. not be of that, read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Now, necessarily, it does not mean that you have to be reading all day, but your mind, your thoughts should be on this law, on this Bible. It is your history. It, it is. You're damn right. It is your history book. It's yours, and it's only yours. It's not the white man's book. Right. The Asian man's book, right. the Arabian man's book, right. it's yours, it's mine. It's all the native, black, Hispanic, and Native American brothers and sisters, it's our book. But right. we don't like right. it. We don't like to read. Two of, of, of Israel. Israel right. 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 Uh -huh. Read on, hold on. Read that. Continue. There's more. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. That we may observe to do all according that is written in this book. Read. For then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous. We shall do what? Make thy ways prosperous. We shall make our ways prosperous. This Bible is our strength. Isaiah 52 and 1. This That's Bible right. is our strength. That's right. The laws of God is our strength. Right. When you are not keeping the laws of God, who are weak? You're not a man if you're not keeping the law. If you're not keeping the word of God, you're not a real man. Right. That's right. We 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 grow. We especially the older man. We say I'm a real man. I'm a I'm a OG. Or I'm this. Or I'm that. But you're not a man according to the word of God. If you're not right. keeping the laws of God, you're not a real man. Bring it out. Right. Now, give me give me first Corinthians 3 and 16. Let me ask you a question. Let me, let me ask you a question real quick. First Corinthians 3 and 16. Let's get this first. And then let's go into it because um what is that? Um rehearse the righteous acts. Judges chapter 5, verse 11. Bring it out. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the place of drawing waters. The place of drawing water is going into servitude. Right. It's speaking of a four time. Right. So right now we are we are those servants. This right. is our captivity. Read. Right. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. There shall they do what? Rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Right. There they shall rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, right? So, when God has called you, as he has done today, you should immediately seek, what is that, uh, uh, Psalm 60 and verse 59. You should immediately put, put whatever it is down and, 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 and try to serve the Most High God of your best ability. But you are rehearsing these acts. You understand? You are rehearsing these acts. You should want to be perfect. The law says, be thou perfect. The law says that. As, as coming into your repentance, your mindset should be, whatever I'm doing, I need to stop it. Right. If, I, if, if I smoke the weed, if I smoke cigarettes, if I'm whoring out my sisters, yeah. right. if I'm, if I'm uh, married out of wedlock, if, if whatever it is, you have to have the mindset that I need to put off the old man right. and put on the new man. Right. 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 I need to stop doing the wickedness and put on the righteousness. Right. That's right. I need to stop doing the sin that I'm in and repent for it, right? Right, that's Read. right. Psalms chapter 119, verse 60. Bring it out. Read. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Right. But David said he made haste. It's like when you hear something, you're like, oh, wait a minute. You just go, you just shoot. Right. You don't even think about the next move. Right, right. You made haste to do it. Right. 
It's like you heard about a job. He's like, hold on, wait a minute. I got to get down there right now. I got to be first in line. Right. That's what we got to do for this Bible. We got to be first in line to hear the word of God. Right. We have to have the mindset to make haste to keep the words, to keep the laws of God. Read that from right. the top. Psalms chapter 119, verse 60. I made haste and delayed it not to keep thy commandments. Right. I made haste to keep the commandments of God. Acts 3 and 18. Yeah. You know? So a part of your repentance is I need to acknowledge my sin and repent for it. First John 3 and 4 as well. Get first John 3 and 4. You know what sin is? Yeah, sin is like bringing the law of God. Okay, he's bringing the laws of God. Let's get it. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So who, uh, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Now, Acts 3 and 18. Acts chapter 3, verse 18. Bring it out. Because a part of, like I said, your repentance, you're not going to just be perfect tomorrow. Right, right. It takes time. Right. But you have to be diligent. You have to pray to the Most High God to give you that fervent spirit like David did. Right, right. Psalms 51 and 1. That's what I want. Give me Psalms 51. Yeah. That's what I want. Give me that. Give me Psalms chapter 51 and 1 because David said the exact same thing. Bring it out. Coming a part of your repentance, you have to be humble. You have to not only acknowledge it, but you have to want to, 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 to get rid of the sin. You have to want to change. You have to want to serve the Most High God. Read. Right. Psalms chapter 51 verse 1. Uh -huh. Have mercy upon me, O God. And your prayer, you need to be saying these exact words. Have mercy upon me, O God. Right. Read. That's right. That's right. According to thy loving kindness. According to thy loving kindness. That's What's why that? he sent Christ. Psalms chapter 51 and verse 1. Psalms chapter 51. Uh-huh. Right. According to thy loving kindness. That's why he gave Christ to us. Because he loved us. Right. He's always loved us. And he That's forever right. will love us because of the promise he made with our forefathers. That's right. right. Read. According to thy multitude of thy tender mercies. According to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Read. Blot out my transgressions. Blot out my transgressions. That's what we, that's what we must do in our repentance. We have to come to God. Acknowledge our sin. Read. Wash me. Thoroughly from my iniquity. We have to ask God to wash me thoroughly of my iniquity. Wash me thoroughly of my sin. Confess. Read. And cleanse me from my sin. Uh-huh. For I acknowledge my transgression. For so I do what? For I acknowledge my transgression. David right. said, for I acknowledge my transgressions. David understood that just because, just in the, in the part of repentance, it's not just change. You have to acknowledge that. You have to come before the Father, ask for that mercy. You have to acknowledge your sin and want to change. Read. And my sin is ever before me. It's right. ever before me. Right? right. This, no fringes. Right. You got the bald head going on. You got the bald face. Right. But a part of your repentance, you have to acknowledge these things right. and ask for God mercy. Right. But you have to do what we read in Psalms 119 right. and 60. You got to do it in haste. You can't delay this thing, man. Right, right. You may not make it to see tomorrow morning. Right, right, right. You may go down the street, and there may be a gang shoot, and you get hit. Because right, right, right. bullets don't have names on them. Right, right. You may get hit. Right. You may go in your car and go down the street. Guess what? You may not make it home. Right, right. Right. You may not make You may not make it home to see your family right, the next right. day. So you got to make haste. Acts 3 right. 18. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Yeah. Repent ye therefore. And be converted. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Repent is a mindset. It's not just an action. It's a mindset. Right. And be converted. Change. Uh, Psalms 19 and 7. Psalms right? chapter 19 verse 7. Yeah. Paul, Paul was speaking in the spirit of, of Christ. And so was David. He said and be converted. What, what you got? Psalms 19 and 7. Let me keep driving. It, it's gonna say it. Read. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. Right. It has no error. Right. It, it, it cannot be tampered with. Right. It's pure. Right. It's perfect. That's right. Right? That's why God, the most high God made it. It's perfect. It has no error in it. Read. Converting the soul. Converting the soul. Changing your spirit. 
The laws of God will change your spirit. If you're trying to repent, you're going to keep God's laws. Why? Because you want to be converted. You want to be changed. And to a, from a wicked man to a godly man. Right. That's right. That's right. From a nigger to a God. Right. God right. called us. Right. The most high God said he are gods. Right. Give me that Psalms 86. Right. Psalms 82 verse 6. Yeah. I, I have said ye are gods. I That's have right. said ye are gods. Christ quoted this same scripture in the New Testament. Right. He said, I have said ye are gods. He did not call us these by words that we claim and put upon ourselves today. Right? So a part of our repentance, like I said, is a mindset. You have to understand what God calls you, what God conducts you, how to how to um, conduct yourself. A part of your repentance is to have a mind of God. And to have a mind of God, you have to convert your ways to his ways, which is changing your life to the life of his Bible. That's right. Which is basically the laws of God, man. Right. You understand that? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.